Hey kids, welcome to Unit 1, Lesson 8, Code Review Exercise Number 1. This entire lesson is going to deal with style and documentation. And I would like to refer you down to the video description. I'm going to have two links down there. That's one to a GitHub of a style guide. And the next is to a educational version of the style sheet from Cornell. They are both very helpful and they explain all of the different things you should be doing style wise in Java. And in general, this documentation is good because it really breaks down in plain English what everything is. So I'd really direct you to the resources inside the description. Let's go ahead and see what we're going to do today. What do you notice about the way this code is written? Is it easy to read? Why or why not? Can you easily tell what the program is supposed to do without running it? What would you tell the programmer to help improve their code? Hmm. Let's start with the first one. What do we notice about this code? First thing I noticed, this isn't the code I've been writing. This is code given to us. And if you look, if you look, each statement is on the next line. There are no indentations is for at least me a little more difficult to read because I can't really break down what's what. It all is just kind of one blur of one thing. And that's not kind of how at least I read the Java code. Over on our subclass, same thing. It sucked everything over here to the left. Again, I am positive there's somebody out there who's like, yep, this is the way I would like to read Java. This makes perfect sense. And honestly, the code will run perfectly fine like this we're about to see. It's just harder for others to see it. So really, I guess the point of this is for the vast majority of people out there, and that's important because we do a lot of debugging and ultimately when we put our code out there into the world, other people have to read and understand it. That this is not the easiest way to read this format. Hmm. Let's go down to number two. Can you easily tell what this program is supposed to do without running it? Obviously, you can still tell this is a simple program. There isn't much going on. It's going to move down this little road here. Doesn't look like it's going to paint or anything. Just move down it. It looks like we're creating a subclass on my painter, so we have access to the subclass over here. And again, this looks just like the code I wrote. It's just all the way over here. For me, again, can I tell what the program is supposed to do without running it? Yeah, absolutely. But I also have years of experience of looking at some wacky code from students. Number three, what would I tell this programmer to do to help improve their code? I don't want to get too much into this because we're going to cover this in the next lesson. But I would definitely say, number one, commenting is very important in things. Number two, definitely indentation. For me, indentation helps to see exactly which class you're working in because within every class or object you create, you're going to basically tab over one. So for me, it kind of keeps a little flow for that. Again, in simple code like this, you're probably thinking, meh, what's the real big deal here? The big deal is the habits we create today are what we're going to use tomorrow. It means if you get in a habit of your code being like this because it's simple and what it doesn't matter, it's just turning right and left. Come on, Mr. Rhodes, who cares? When we get into the curriculum down the road, it's going to get a lot more complex. And if this is still how you're doing things, it's just going to be a lot harder to keep track of. Before we go, we should definitely run the program and finish it. Let's go ahead and hit run. And just like I said earlier, it's going to go down this little road here without painting to get to the donut truck. 
It's exactly what I thought. Again, we're working with simple code here, not too complex, but that is going to change very soon. Key takeaways from this lesson. Again, key takeaways, kids, is what you practice today is your habits tomorrow. If you get in the habit of good style today, you're going to have good style code tomorrow. And just because it's simple today doesn't mean we should practice the basics. It's like anything else we've done in our education. Practice the basics as we move up. Those become good habit. We have better written code, easier to understand for us all. So again, the key takeaway here really is look at those style guides. I know we're going to go through it a little in the next couple of lessons, but really take a look at it. See what the creators of Java really expected you to do. Hopefully this video helped you understand a little more about the importance of why we have styling in Java. As always, if you have any questions, kids, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.